Exactly. So we today she was convicted on the remaining of what has been a year's worth of charges. So t- today's charges were on were based on corruption. Um, and so to understand it better, we must first take a, a step back. She was first elected in 2015. And then again, after a landslide election in 2020, uh, on her first day of work to assume the job, there was a military coup. And so the, the current junta seized power and arrested her. And then Because she is such a popular political figure here in the country, which has shifted towards a pro-democracy movement, she has been silenced in every way that she possibly can by the current military regime. And so currently she has already been sentenced to a minimum of 26 years in prison based on a variety of charges stemming from corruption to election fraud and misuse of walkie-talkies. And so this verdict that we saw today was actually expected by the public. Um, This trial, um, just like all the others before it, has been quite secretive. Um, The lawyers, Suchi herself has only been allowed to speak to her own defense, and those lawyers have not been allowed to speak to the public as they're under gag order. So this is the end of the trials for her, and that is ahead of next year's required elections in 2023. And so most people can really see this for what it is, which is essentially an attempt to stop the biggest political opponent to the current military junta from running for re-election in 2023. And so what they're doing is essentially imprisoning her by the law. And as you say, Matt, this isn't unexpected. Is there any reaction there yet on the streets of Myanmar? What can we expect? It's really hard to tell what will happen next, but what we do know is that over the last year, there has been a very strong resistance to the military junta in Myanmar from both local young activists um, that are protesting in the streets, as well as with um, groups around the country that have been resisting for the last year. So it's hard to tell what will happen exactly, but we do expect to see some resistance to the military who into following the latest verdicts in this trial. Okay, Matt, we will leave.